Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this crashed or somehow broken text effect in your device using PSTouch and PixelUp. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are at first in pixel app and I'm going to create the text. So at first go to the text part and go to edit and type anything you want. I'm going to type crashed. You can type anything you like to. I'm going to change the fonts now. Go to fonts. Here it is. Go to my fonts. And choose Unisense Heavy. You can find it downloading in the description below. Alright. Just like that. Now I'm going to italic the text. For that, go to the style and choose italic. Now you have seen that there is a little part out of the box. Don't worry about that. Just go to the padding right here. Just tap on it and increase it from any side it is. And this time it's from the right side, so I'm increasing from the right. Just like that. All right. Now I'm going to align to center, vertically and horizontally, just like that. And tap OK. Now go to background part and choose transparent. Now all you have to do is save it to your gallery. Tap on that save icon and go to save as image. And for the best quality, choose ultra. Just as I'm doing now. And tap on save to your gallery. Just like that. Alright, now we are in Peace Touch and we are going to create a blank project. Tap on plus icon and choose OK. As we did right now, OK. Now I'm going to fill this layer with a black color. For that, go to fill and stroke and change this color to black and tap on the tick mark just like that. Now tap on the plus icon and choose photo layer, just like that. And we're going to find the pixel of folder. Here it is. And choose and add the picture you just exported from pixel up, just like it right here. Now I'm going to resize and make it a bit smaller. Just like that, and tap on the tick mark. Now, once again, tap on the plus icon and choose for the layer. And I'm going to add a picture, you can find it on the link in the description below. Let me just find it, it should be in this folder. Here it is. Now, just add it to your project, all right? Just like this. Now, I'm going to make it black and white because, as you can see, it has just a little bit of color, and we don't need that. Just like this. Now I'm going to change the layer stuff from normal to multiply. For that, go to layers and choose multiply. Just like that. Now as you can see, the above picture is only visible where the bottom layer, the thick layer, is visible. And it's called uh, the uh, layer mask in Photoshop. I'm going to resize it and make it a bit smaller. It's too big for this text. Yeah, just like that. It looks good. Yeah, that's fine. Now as you can see, the above picture is only visible where the text is visible. Alright, now go to adjustments and choose levels, as you can see in the left side. Now uh, tap and drag the left panel to the right side, and do the same for the right one and drag it to the left side. And what it does is it makes the bright areas uh, brighter and darker areas darker, just as you can see here. Alright. Now I'm going to choose the text layer because I'm going to move that broken part from the text as you can see and for that we need a section and for selection I'm going to choose the lasso selection tool you can use both lasso selection tool and polygon selection tool and I'm also going to use the pointer as you can see it's a little cursor out there it makes the selection much more easier alright now I'm going to select those cracked or broken parts from the text as you can see here your section doesn't need to be perfect and just move it just a little bit to make it separate from the letter just like that I'm going to do it with each layer one by one as you can see I'm going to drag it just a bit to the side yeah that looks good okay and maybe this one too yeah just like it. select it and just move it um, yeah and now I'm going to do it with each letter, one by one, 
Let me say that. And that's it now you can see how it looks with the texture above just like that okay now I'm going to add some particles to it so for that I have two images and for that tap on the plus icon and go to the folio and you can find it downloading in the description below here are the two pictures just add